Yo, what up? This is Verbal from Music Weapons. I'm going to run through the installation process as well as some of the features and go through a little some of the patches for our new VSTi audio units plug-in Sound Arsenal, which is essentially a modern um, virtual sound module that you can just similar to old school like MoFats and such, but you know modernized and a lot better sounds and better features now the the plugin itself the library is a total of 43 gigabytes and which uh, comprising of about 31,000 samples to make up the library it's mainly um, just something to be able to recreate samples but play them as originals and in addition to it being a huge sound library, it has built-in analog convolution with um, noise and all those things that make a sample a sample. It has the depth and the thickness. But beyond that, we actually took and we separated the noise from what the, how the signal was affected. So you can actually blend the sound with the uh, noise floor, like the hiss and hum. So when you get the program, you can choose either audio units or VST, but if you want both and you're on Mac, you can get both. But it is, um, like I said, 43 gigabytes installed, and the installers themselves are roughly 25, so you'd have to figure about 70 gigs you would need free just to have one. Another 25 to add both. Um, I would suggest you can just delete the installs afterwards because you can always log back into the music weapon site and re-download it at any point um, like like our old VSTs it's pretty simple um, Mac you just place it into the, the audio units right here place it into the components blah, blah blah you just extract this these are just pieces because as you can see they're very large and we wanted to keep them under four gigs because some file systems can't handle files bigger than that same thing with the audio units, you put it to the components folder. Windows is a little more straightforward. It's just you run them, you, once you get all these 16 libraries in the main, you install the main installer, blah, 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 and then all the libraries. It's just a typical install, nothing crazy. It's gonna put everything where it needs to go so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, for English, next, accept. And that's, it's gonna place it to your default. Um, it's a uh, VST plugins directory which is always that usually and that's just gonna load it up and that is the install process alright now we're gonna just roll through the uh, basically the getting you up and running and go over the interface itself as you can see I am using Cubase 5 here this is what I use for my production and recording um, the plugin itself, Sound Arsenal, is compatible with any software that accepts VST and audio units plugins, including things like MPC Renaissance, Machine, Fruity Loops, um, Pro Tools, Logic, uh, obviously Cubase. Anything that basically anything is going to accept one of two, one of those formats. So I'm on PC, obviously. Um, obviously, I'm going to create a new project. Now, like I said before, it's going to install to your default directory, so you probably won't have to do anything, and it'll just show up wherever your uh, wherever you load up the instruments for each program is different. I think we'll get to that. We'll try to address all the major softwares. But as of now, if you have any issues learning how to load up a VST, um, you can check out our drum weapons um, setup video. It goes through all of that. This one's pretty simple. It doesn't have. It's not a multiple out instrument. It's just a single out, so you don't really have to do any routing. Um, the first time you load it, here's Sound Arsenal right here in my list. First time you load it, it is going to ask you for your license key, which we send to you manually. It's usually instantly when you purchase it, so never really longer than an hour or so. Uh, I'm gonna create a track, and this is the interface. It's pretty cut and dry. We kind of wanted to, we wanted to um, really just simulate an old school hardware interface, which is why we made it graphically and visually be that way to give people a feel of an old school type of uh, sound module, which is really what it is, just with modern technology. Now, 
like I said before, we, uh, in addition to the massive library, uh, you just click here to access all the individual patches, um, comprised of about 30,000 samples uh, to make the patches. In addition to that, we have the convolution. We took um, our analog legends from our analog legends VST, we used the convolution in that to process um, tape machines and as well as um, vinyl. Um, tones and sounds and imparted it directly into the sound and then we were actually able to separate the sound and the noise so you can adjust as you can see right here we have the sound level knob and the noise and the noise level is basically the hiss and hum that you usually hear coming from a vinyl um, we kind of decided on one one uh, one kind of sound and noise floor to stick with it's kind of like a 70s regular um regular uh album sound that you would hear because traditionally things are sampled from the 70s and 60s and that's kind of the the era where most people dig their vinyl from so that's where the convolution for the vinyl is driven from and then we took a traditional just you know atari tape machine that imparted a little bit of character but not too much because we didn't want it to sound horrible but we also didn't want it to sound too nice but you can separate the difference between noise and sound. In addition to that, you have your traditional attack, decay, sustain, and release, which are very important a lot of times. Um, we use it as a poly instrument. Um, we have mono poly now, but actually it's kind of strange acting. But the quality is kind of, it'll affect the sound. Velocity curve really matters if you're using pads and things. You're gonna wanna change that according to how you play if you play hard you play soft you also have a built-in little reverb it's a nice reverb and you can pan it as well directly on and you have your master level you got your pre you can go previous patch next patch and that's really the interface so um i think i'll just get into letting you hear some of the patches and that's it all right now we're going to move on to going through some of the patches which is truly why sound arsenal shines because when it comes to all these types of sounds you tr you know you're traditionally going to get some real cheesy stuff even with the high-end um you know keyboards and even you know modern software there really isn't one place to get all of these sounds like i said there's 43 gigabytes of just you know amazing patches and i can give you an example um something i really like to use Everybody likes brass and big, big epic brass. So I really like this patch, the um, brass section hits. Now I'm just gonna play around something stupid. As you can hear, it's not just some cheesy little sound and watch, I'll listen for the noise too. You know it's when you can separate it so you got that noise there that little noise floor and that actually having that there is actually very important to the main riff I mean even if it's just a touch um, you would really probably want it to be there just because it adds a 3d ness to it the sound isn't just itself it has it has a body to it <laughs> It, um, usually the patches they all center at 36 which is um, just like drum weapons and bang and bass we kind of center everything at that C right there um, and it goes up and down through now we don't have just spread out like one sample this literally has layers on each individual key and in addition to, like I said it's very very detailed and you sitting here playing this you're gonna get super inspired just because it's just so it's literally this it's just as good as having a brass section right there with you <laughs> dropped on tape and put on vinyl and then you could sample it but you can play it yourself and then you don't have to worry about sample clearances you don't have to worry about none of that I love this patch <laughs> Okay, so you hear the noise. Now the noise is kind of, it's randomly generated, really. Um, to, so it isn't the same thing and over and over. And it also, it, it holds for a second when you're done letting go of the key, so. 
it's not that long because we don't want just a uh, an overall hit noise be going so you can um like i said you can adjust it so in addition to keeping the tone that's being imparted you can separate the noise from the sound so say if you're layering say this was your main layer okay that's your main layer and you put another one over there you want the noise to be down now it's very important actually just to be able to separate that and to have such a high quality thing now I'm gonna move on I just really like that patch um, this is an amazing guitar patch here it's an acoustic it's a Martin I really I really really like all of these acoustic patches like the six yeah this is a little so realistic it's crazy it's like somebody sitting there I'll strum it and like I said just like before you can turn the noise off now beyond just having simple you know regular patches we also have chord patches and chord patches are super freaking sweet if you don't play the board that well like this is an example those are just one note that's one note I'm playing why does that sound so realistic because it is someone playing guitar <laughs> and then you can adjust it, take out the, the noise. Such, such beautiful sounds, like amazing patches here. And that's really where it shines, you know. I could sit here and tell you all day about this, but these sounds are so, so great. <laughs> I love them so much. little tiny bell you always need to add that the the guitars are amazing I love the I love these guitars here let's see got little chord chunks let's see. it starts more here now that is <laughs> That does not sound like somebody sitting there playing a keyboard. And like I said before, you can just do whatever you want to do to add add to the um, the nature of it. It really is based on melodies. Um, that's really the, the what this is about. This is we have drums and we have bass sounds. This is about making melodies, and um, that's really the way I wanted this to be. This is amazing. <laughs> so dope are you kidding me like you said take out the noise are you kidding me there's really nothing that has sounds like that and sound arsenal is the last thing you're going to need to put put together these types of melodies you know solo strings Ultra realistic. Why? Why does it sound like that? Because it is actually that. This isn't a, necessarily a sample. You know, in addition to all the chords, we have the same things with, um, we have the, you know, all the type of, types of things that you would have as your main melody in addition to, you know, lead things. We got a nice little lead guitar here. <laughs> Sounds like I got freaking some amazing guitar player sitting in here. And that's that's like I said. That's that's how this is. This is not some cheesy little sounds. These 
are real instruments so you can ease you can recreate and that's kind of the gist of how it goes you know we got strings brass keys some synths the pads are freaking amazing and th these vox patches are going to totally freak you out like let's see an example <laughs> It's like having a choir and an orchestra and a band and all that right here, right in front of you. There's no reason. And then we got Mellotrons, pads, you know, you're, you're going to sit there and you're going to say, oh, I have those things. No, you don't. You don't have those. This is, this is real stuff here. This is, these are amazing. These are the exact type, these are the exact sounds that we sample. I don't know what even know what this patch is. I'm just gonna load it up. The pads in here are amazing. Brass, strings, um, leads, synths, vox. We got r tons of random percussion, orchestral, um, ethnic, really nice pianos. I like this piano. stuck with a set piano sound and I really really like it <laughs> are you kidding me that's freaking amazing well that kind of wraps up you know I could sit here and go through patches all day and you guys could sample the little riffs that are playing but um, that's what drives sound arsenal it's got tons of awesome sounds in it and they all sound like samples. So if you can play just a little bit, you can make all originals and not have to worry about sample clearances and get your music placed in places where you couldn't do it with samples. And that's where Sound Arsenal comes into play. You got real instruments played by real people and also the convolution which simulates vinyl and tape right in the plugin itself. So there's no reason and it uses next to no CPU. So I'm just gonna wrap it up after this and that's kind of the patches. I mean, I might go through more on the next segment, but I don't really have to go further. The patches are ridiculous. All right, so now that we've uh, went through some of the patches, there's something I really, really need to stress. A couple things right here. For one, um, I, got, I literally have like a Pro Tools rig and a PC freaking Cubase rig here routing back and forth trying to uh, make it so I could have a decent mic tone and get the patches so you could hear them. But the, they're still at, what you're hearing is at 22,000 hertz freaking and also it is mono. So you're not really going to get the full effect of the patches. They're full, true stereo patches, and they really do fill the, the soundscape. Um, I couldn't really convey that. I'm not. I mean, I'm a producer, and I'm a. Uh, I'm really just a guy that makes dope sounds for you guys to go off and make beats. Um, I am not. I'm not that good at making these videos, but I'll go over a few patches. <laughs> Is amazing I could make freaking 10 beats off of that now when I tell you that these sounds are amazing <laughs> you don't have to just take my word for it this is pretty it's pretty cut and dry um, music weapons is a company a company of music producers that get placements and that are dope and that makes sounds for music producers and that's the way we do it we are not just a bunch of little nerds sitting here clicking things. We make things. We make money off of this. And uh, we really just wanted to bring the sounds and the uh, tools to everybody and make it easily attainable to make dope hip hop. So beyond that, even these sounds are by far the most, the dopest sounds ever compiled. And in addition to them just being dope we have all that stuff you know the vinyl emulation the things like that to make it sound like a sample I can sit and click on any random patch it 
it's every single patch is going to inspire you. It's going to make you feel, you know, like you got a guy sitting there playing your, uh, I don't even know what this is. Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> you got, it's like you got, it's basically the, the equivalent of having an orchestra, a string section, a choir, a band, you know, a whole slew of studio musicians right at your disposal, in addition to dropping them on the tape and then putting it on vinyl and then sampling it. That is what Sound Arsenal brings. You know, there's other... There's ways for you to get sounds similar to this, but nothing is going to have the convolution and nothing's going to have the ability to, to make it sound like a sample for one. You know, it's kind of a big deal. Some little ethnic stuff. Um, it's, it's really just ridiculous. Every single patch, like I could, it's got staccato mutes, different lengths for each individual thing. Um, it really just keeps going, you know. What is this? <laughs> oh, that's funny. A little marimba. Like I said, I haven't even got to really mess with it. <laughs> Let's see what this one is. You can make a whole beat based on that freaking sound right there. And that's kind of the way it's going to be. You know, you're going to sit there and you're going to load it up. And you're going to listen to it and you're going to be like, what the? All right. I got so inspired while I was making this. It really had a lot to do with why it took so long. So I'm not going to bore you and sit here and talk about all this stuff over and over. But it's really got any kind of percussion and you know, any kind of uh, melody driven type sample that you would be making and using and you could play it yourself so there's no reason to get you know held down by using samples you got sound arsenal right here in front of you it's I mean, considering what all you get it's actually way cheaper than i even want it to be but i think it's nice round price and you know this is music weapons and we're bringing you the ammunition to make the beats you need and sound arsenal is just another installment uh, you can look around we are everywhere right now so if you want to take your beats to the next level and get your beats in the right places get placements this is the kind of thing you need to be doing it's just it's it's endless there's so many i could sit here and do this all day it <laughs> sounds like that one song but anyways, let's end this video and you guys can go cop it at musicweapons.com. It's $149.99, Sound Arsenal, available on VSC Auto Units for Mac and PC. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'm going to peace out of this video.